What's up everybody? It's Poimeen here. Uh, my glasses are off, so um, I'm not going to be looking directly at the camera because I don't really know what I'm looking at. Uh, it's 11.59 right now. By the time I upload this, it'll be the next day, but it's still like 11.59. I look like a dead person. I look like I'm dead. I'm sorry, guys. Um, sorry, I never record a video without um, vision improvement on, like, vision impairment, like, things on, like, either contacts or glasses, you know, so it, it's weird. Um, for breakfast, I, um, had, like, 15 McDonald's fries and two chicken McNuggets. Um, yeah, so I woke up at around 8, um, I went to bed at around 2 last night, but I wanted to, so I wanted to wake up at 9, so I'd get at least 7 hours of sleep, but I ended up waking up at, um, I ended up waking up at um, 8, so I got 6 hours of sleep, which sucked. But, um, you know, I'm planning on getting eight, at least 7 hours of sleep tonight. It's midnight right now, so I can't get 8 hours of sleep efficiently. But, um, you know, I could wake up at 8.30 or even 9 um, and get a good 8 hours. So, including like an hour of buffer time, and it's definitely not going to take me an hour to fall asleep, you know. Um, so I sort of just laid on the couch um, from around 8 um, up until probably 1 p.m. I think. Um, I just, uh, I remember at the beginning of the day thinking, you know, I've got nothing to do today. I might as well go on my phone, you know, treat myself, just be on my phone the whole day. And, um, I've realized why I've sort of stopped intentionally doing that. It, um, it makes me not focused. It makes me feel bad. And not like... Sorry. And not like makes you feel like super inherently negative. It's fine when I'm on my phone. It's just, you know, time just moves away from you. And it's not as if I'd be doing anything very productive otherwise, but... Sorry, t I typically I have my glasses on so I can see what's going on, but I just see like these weird flashes of light outside my window and I have I have no idea what they are, but I'm sure I would know if I had my glasses on. Um Sorry guys. Um Yeah, so I, I just felt sort of lazy and unproductive the whole day, even though I wouldn't have done anything, like, that's super productive nonetheless. Um, I've been recording for three minutes already, it's 12.02. Um... Sorry, I, I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, so, um, God, I seem like a crazy person in this video right now. I'm, I'm looking around like a crazy person, but I assure you, it's just because everything looks a little off because I don't have my glasses on. Um, like in my camera, I saw like my phone get like a little bigger and I was like, that's weird. So I turned around and I, and I was like, oh, it's just my water bottle. But then I look back, my water bottle was gone, but my, it was just my head blocking it. And I was like, wait, but yeah, my water bottle is still there. I just, I feel like I lack object permanence or something. Um, yeah, so I felt pretty unproductive from around 9 a.m. to um, to 1 p.m. and uh, I was feeling pretty weird and, and manic so I decided to bring my laptop like my ThinkPad T480 onto the treadmill and have a, the keyboard section like the main computer keyboard section of the laptop on it like an iPad and then display basically parallel on top to the keyboard and so the laptop was like keyboard, everything, trackpad, you know, and then 
boom laptop, you know, and it was sitting on the treadmill and I could barely use it. I had to type like this, but I was able to watch my videos fast. Or on a larger screen, I mean. I'm not sure if it was particularly larger than the iPad screen, honestly, and it's, it's probably a worse aspect ratio, but, um, you know, um, what can you do, right? Um, yeah, so, um, Um, once I, once I had done that, um, I basically was just on my laptop and I was walking at like two miles an hour, like it was Linus Torvalds' desk, you know, and, um, I was just on my laptop doing laptop things and I ended up calling my friend and, cause I was in a very strange and sort of, I don't want to call it manic cause it was, it definitionally wasn't a manic mood, but I was feeling very, very, very out of the ordinary. I was feeling very strange. Um, so I called my friend and, um, you know, I talked with him a little, with a little bit, for a little bit. And um, I had this vision in my head of, um, you know, the closest park near me, there's a trail that pretty much only I know about. And there's like a bench there that pretty much only I know about. And it's a very nice place where I just like to hang out and like look at the water. Um, but, uh, you know, I had this vision in my head of me using my laptop on this bench in the middle of this park that only I know about. Um, well, I don't know if only I know about it. I just, I'm the only person I've seen there. But, um, yeah, so I get everything full in my backpack. I got my water bottle. I got three disposable water bottles. I get my phone battery. I bring my laptop. Uh, not my phone, but like my brick, my charging brick. And two chargers for my laptop and for my phone. And I wear this flannel um, with a with a shirt, of course. Um, and uh, yeah, so I just leave my house. I text my friend, hey, I'm gonna call you back when I get to the park. And he said, oh, I'm gonna have to go soon. I was like, that's okay. I felt like the reason why I was in such a strange mood is because I hadn't gone outside at all that, that day. I hadn't even left the home. I haven't even gone on deck or out in the backyard, right? And I feel like not being outside, I, I think that might contribute to your mood. So um, me talking to my friend at this park wasn't, that is what I told him I was going to be doing, but it wasn't like a necessary inherent part of me sitting at this park bench. I just wanted to sit there and use my laptop. So I got to this park, I sat down, I used my laptop and um, I try, I, I connected my laptop to my phone hotspot, but it was so slow, so I wasn't able to. Data out there is pretty bad, and it's just enough for your phone to work, but um, not enough for a laptop to work over a hotspot, which is a little depressing, but what can you do? Something I also learned is the screen, even at max brightness, wasn't bright enough. I've only used it in dim home lighting applications, um, and even relative to the sun, this light is super dim, right? But um, you know, I was outside and I could barely see the screen. I was like, man, I should probably get an upgraded screen. I wouldn't mind trading the touchpad capability, the, the touchscreen capabilities, which I barely even use for 1440p, you know, much higher brightness. I wouldn't mind trading that. Um, yeah, so on my way home, I, um, my friends were like, hey, does anybody want to meet at the local strip mall? Today was the first day of school for, um, I'm not in high school anymore, but today was the first day of school for, for everyone. And, um, you know, I was like, hey, do you want to hang out at the strip mall so we can say hi to our, our friends? Like, cause we have some friends who are juniors and they're still in school, they're seniors now. Um, and it was like, we can say hi to them after school and, you know, we can also hang out and we're like, okay. So, um, I start going there. I wait for the bus. My friend's on the bus. I take the bus with her. And um, then we meet with my other friend at the strip mall once we get there. And then another friend of ours shows up and, and she's nice too. Um, and uh, yeah, so we go to the sort of grocery store. We get some prepackaged sushi. And I got some potato salad. I love, not potato. 
macaroni salad. I love me some mayonnaise, I'm not gonna lie. And so I um I got a whole tub of macaroni salad that was on sale because it was gonna expire in a few days and you know, I just ate that whole thing as long as well as the um sushi. Um and yeah, I, I don't think I should have eaten that much, but um, you know, what, what can you do, right? Um, yeah, so then um, afterwards, my one of my friends had to leave, and so we all three went to McDonald's, and um, my buddy uh, um, also had to leave, so it was just me and another friend, and uh, I got a, I got a, this is so much food, it's embarrassing. I got a, a, a I'm an McFlurry, which was very good. I should have only gotten that. But I also got a chocolate, a large chocolate shake. And the chocolate, you know, the shakes, I feel like the shakes at McDonald's are the only shakes worth getting. Because they're the only ones that you can, like, efficiently drink. And that makes sense as a drink. You get a shake from Five Guys, it's so much trouble. You know, you get a shake from, like, Lil Woody's, it's so much trouble, you know. Um, but you get a shake from McDonald's, it just acts like a drink. You know, and you can just drink it, right. Um, but, yeah, um... I got a, uh, um, sorry, I got a, uh, I got, um, that and I ate it and that was way too much food and I felt very full by the end of it. So, um, me and my buddy, I walked to his house and then I walked home from there. Luckily his house was the same direction as mine. so as opposed to me walking to other people's houses in the past, um, it didn't increase my time home, it only decreased it. So instead of around 34 minutes home, it was around 16 minutes. Um, so I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, I hope I'm feeling good or like better tomorrow. I want to um, wake up on time tomorrow. Yeah. See you, dude.